is my dad. We both love science. My dad is always explaining how things work. I guess he has to, because I'm always asking. Before I was born, my dad looked at a place with windmills, as far as you could see. It's called the Tehachapi Wind Farm. Tehachapi's in California. It's also where my mom grew up. Tehachapi is known for trains, apples, and of course, windmills. My dad's job was to travel through California, teaching kids about wind power. Although he wasn't there for very long, my dad fell in love with windmills and renewable energy. Whenever we pass one, he talks about them. The ones on the way to our property are huge. I wanted to know how they worked, and this is how my project got started. First, my dad had to explain energy. Energy is all around us, from a campfire to a general bar. Both are forms of energy. If I didn't eat, I wouldn't have any energy to ride my scooter. The basic forms of renewable energy are hydropower, solar power, and wind power. Renewables are better because they don't pollute our planet. Hydro is the Greek word for water. Hydropower comes from big depths that hold back rivers. When the water gets released, it turns big turbines that generate electricity to power our houses. There are problems with them. They don't let fish go through, and they capture sand and dirt that is normally washed down the river. Solar comes from the word soul, which means sun. So solar power means sun power. Just like a campfire produces heat, so does the sun. And heat is a form of energy. Solar panels collect the heat producing rays from the sun and convert them back into energy that powers our houses. But solar power doesn't work at night and it doesn't work very well when it's cloudy and raining either. That leaves wind power. People have been using windmills for energy for over a thousand years. In fact, the first known windmill was a vertical axis windmill. It was invented in a country called Persia between 500 and 900 AD. That's a really long time ago. They used the energy produced from windmills to grind up grains into flour and also to pump water. Today, most windmills have a horizontal axis. They're pretty simple machines actually. Simple enough that my dad and I built one. This is my windmill. It produces electricity. It's a horizontal axis windmill with a wind vane. Wind vanes help keep the windmill facing into the wind. My windmill produces less than one watt of electricity and powers a tiny little light called an LED. The biggest windmill in the world produces 7.5 megawatts of electricity and powers over 5,000 houses. Producing electricity is only half the battle. Once the electricity is made, how does it get to your house? Through a complex system, called the power grid. These power transmission lines take all the electricity created by solar, hydro, and wind to its final destination, my toaster, so I can enjoy this delicious pot card. I hope you've all enjoyed this presentation about renewable energy, and stay tuned for a demonstration of my awesome windmill. Thanks.